Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder Dev vlog. Today we're talking about the Mi-8, the new Soviet helicopter for the Russian tech tree at the battle rating of something in rank 5. It's basically a utility helicopter similar to the Mi-4 but with attack stuff fitted to it. Unsure how effective this will be, it comes with high payload capacity, you'd expect such a thing because it is, I believe, the new largest helicopter in the game, I think? has Falanger ATGMs, which is pretty good, and large size. I'm not sure if that's a pro or a con. I'd probably say it's a con. Exciting news for all helicopter and aviation enthusiasts. The legendary MI-8 is coming to War Thunder. Meet the assault version of the most widely produced helicopter in the world. Armed with rockets, bombs, and even ATGMs. The MI-8 TV will be joining rank 5 in the Soviet helicopter branch in the Sons of Attila major update. And I think it looks awesome. Look at this. It's like a fat hind, basically. Uh, which And the hind's already a big aircraft. The main advantage of this new giant is its impressive combined payload, making it unmatched at its rank in the game. It can carry standard and incendiary bombs for 250 to 500 kilos each, although i make sure to set a fuse on that. Falanga M80 GMs with a max range of 4 kilometers, and most impressively up to 192 S5K unguided rockets. So basically you can then spam an entire side of the map until there is that no longer that side of the map available. With some careful aim, a skilled pilot can coat enemy positions with an unavoidable flurry of heat. Yes, good pun. The MI-8 TV's forward armament consists of just one 12.7mm machine gun. Yeah, that is actually... I'm pretty sure it's a gunner that actually operates that. Um, it might not be in the game, but I think in actuality. While it can angle partially in any direction, it doesn't have full traverse. Either way, it's better than nothing and will come in handy against aerial targets at close range. However, most opponents are much better armed regarding closer range engagement, so the machine gun should not be considered as a primary weapon. It's basically there for show. This is a utility transport helicopter, um, not really a frontline attack vehicle, so just be careful, basically. It is very big, and it will likely be the least agile helicopter in the game. The hinds are already difficult enough to get out of trouble, and this is only going to be even harder. So, just bear that in mind. Although the MI-8 TV is significantly faster than the MI-4 AV, it's not exactly agile. Well, there you go. Its large size makes it difficult to maneuver effectively and is most notably hard to control at high speed. Its pilots would be much better off utilizing cover for surprise attacks rather than relying on flight characteristics. So basically popping up and down from behind a hill. The MIA is huge and very easy to spot and hit from the distance. The most successful sorties will come from giving enemies very little time to react. Pilots should avoid sitting high up in the sky and use cover to get in close if equipped with unguided rockets or bombs. Yeah. Either way, it looks awesome. I love the look of this thing. In summary, the MI-8 TV is an interesting alternative way to the early Mi-24s and must have a must-have for any aviation enthusiast. By the way, German pilots will also get their own MI-8. Nice, East German MI-8 as well. An export version capable of carrying up to six Malyutka ATGM. So don't forget to check your hands right after the Sons of Attila update. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think this is great news. Finding an interesting helicopter, I won't lie, the last few we've had haven't been too exciting for me. But this is quite cool. Um, I think it's a great addition. I'm not sure how effective it will be. I think it'll be awesome for cinematics and just customs and goofing around. Really great for that. Um, combat capability might be somewhat limited because of its size and lack of maneuverability. You know, it's going to be a really easy target to hit, but I think it's a cool addition nonetheless. And uh, that's all we got today, so obviously, like and comment, and, uh, you know, comment what you think of this, uh, this edition. Will you be going for it? And I will catch you in the next one.